What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AB Now check it out. You know, it's starting to get cool out there and in some places it's already cold, right? So look, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best turkey chili that you ever had Hey, super easy and that's right. You don't have to like double take or nothing like that. That's right I did say turkey. I got it. It's not as, as flavorful as some people would like it to be But I'm gonna tell you I made my own seasoning. I'm gonna show you guys how to make that too I'm gonna put all that information down in the description box below because it's super easy to make and that's what's gonna send it over the top. And now, so that I don't over talk it, let's get it. Okay, so you guys see right here, not a whole lot of ingredients, right? And I'm talking about it's gonna be over the top. You're probably looking at this and saying how. I'm gonna show you how. First, let's start off with the ground turkey. Here we go, we got some ground turkey. This right here is one pound. We're gonna do two pounds. That's why I got two, right? Then right here, you wanna have like a cup of, uh, for me and everybody here in this household, we like a lot of cheese and our chili, right? But you only need about one cup. You just put this on top, sprinkle a little, green onion we'll trans transition into this i'm gonna chop this up use these tops of the green onion you know for garnish and flavor also but this right here is what's going to turn the turkey into some fire right here this right here is the homemade chili seasoning mix i'm gonna go ahead and put all of the information how to make this down in the description box below but it's super easy you know what you got five or six ingredients you mix them together and you're done that this turns this into fire now let's look at this right here Let's talk about these beans right here, right? You can see you got kidney beans. This is like 30 ounces of beans. Listen, we're gonna make a lot of this because I promise you, chili don't last long in nobody's house. Now, you see this right here? This is our tomato sauce. This right here, this is eight ounces. I got two cans. You can see another can back here. So we're gonna have 16 ounces of this. And then I'm gonna move this over here to the side so you guys can see this right here. And this is the diced green, you know, these are diced tomatoes and green chili, right? This right here comes in 10 ounces, so look, I got 20 ounces. Really what I'm doing is doubling what I normally make, you know what I mean? Because uh, I'm tired of everybody saying remake it. So let's get it all in one, one shot and go from there. Okay, look, I'm gonna use a little oil, you know, put it in my pan, because you know we're using that turkey, right? Not the fattest, it's more, more so on the lean side, right? So we're gonna use a little bit of this, a little bit of this in our uh, cast iron skillet. As we bring it up to heat, you know, once we get it up to temp, then we're gonna go ahead and start browning our, our turkey. Now we're getting ready to start, you know, browning the meat. Now look, just get yourself, I like these square edge, you know, uh, wooden spoons. So I use these to break them up. So now you can see we cook, we're not showing no beef, I mean no pink. This is what we wanna do. Now, it rendered a little bit of liquid. Look at that right there, just a little bit, right? Most of this will cook off as I'm, you know, talking right now. But what I want to tell you is if you use beef, you're going to want to drain that. You want to drain your fat, then you're going to come back and season. But for myself, and because we're using turkey, I'm going to go ahead and just season right here like you see. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Now I'm going to take my seasoning. Ah, oh, man, you guys got to make the seasoning. You can use chili powder. That's what makes it just regular, right? But look, I put together these blends. Check this out. Let me know when you come back and down in the comment section below and tell me what you think. I'm just going to add a little bit like that. Now, get a little bit more in here. We're just going to put the remainder in there. Then we're going to let it, you know, sit. And that little bit of liquid that was left, look, it helps, you know, get it to, you know, like almost like a, I'm going to call it a marriage. But look, it marinades in here right now, just like the way you see. You just want to make sure you got it blended and all of your turkey got, you know, some seasoning on it, right? Now, let's move over to the next step. Okay, now what you wanna do is, let me bring this a little closer. Bring this over here. Make sure everything is not too hot, which this isn't. It didn't really cook that long. And what I'm gonna do is, we just wanna get this, our, you know, our meat inside of our crock pot. That's it. I promise you, when you smell this right here, it's gonna kinda remind you of like some tacos, like some bomb tacos. Now, you guys do it whatever way you want to do it. That's how I did these, you know, did it right here. Oh, you know what? Let me quit stirring this and making this aroma get all over this kitchen because right now 
man, this is a piece of heaven smelling that. So we finna move to the next step. Okay, so what I did was I just took the, you know, the, the tops off the cans, right? So just grab these, go ahead and just pour them inside. Now when I talk about easy, you guys, I mean easy, but won't nobody know that you just made this that easy. So then we'll just pour these in. And then I didn't show this in the ingredient list, but look, I had, you know, had a big, uh, a big outing this weekend and I had some extra diced onions, right? This is the third cup. I'm gonna go ahead and just add that in there and I'm gonna add one more. So you guys, this is completely optional. It's up to you. I like to put half, to be honest with you, if it wasn't for my whole family eating it, I probably put a whole cup of uh, diced onions in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and just say, we're just gonna put two thirds in here. You guys just go ahead and start with a half and then find out what you wanna do after that. Okay, look, just pull the top off the beans, right? I'm just gonna stick this down here and I'm gonna show it Cause look, it's all kind of ways you can strain it. I'ma go ahead and keep it real with you guys. I'ma just push my finger like this, go to my sink and just let them drain. You guys can put them in a, you know, a strainer if you want to, but trust me, this right here works. Okay, you can see we drain, like I told you, just put the, put the top on, turn it upside down, hold it with a couple of fingers, let it drain. Now we'll just add them. I know some of y'all out here, especially y'all Texans, y'all probably like, oh, he just killed it putting the, the beans in there. But you know what? This is for everybody else. They like a good chili too. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do a Texas style. Uh, I got a I got a cold little secret little recipe for y'all. I'm gonna bring that out soon. But right now, this right here is gonna have to keep y'all warm. And then for those of you guys who don't want to have uh, beans, just don't put them in there. And to be honest with you, this is a cool look right here. But I would like to put some. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna look right now and see if I got some black beans. I like that red and that black bean look, right? So you guys see it. We added those onions to it. We're gonna save the cheese and the green, you know, the green onions for the for that individual bowl. Now, leave it like this. You can see it's not a whole lot of liquid. That way when we cook it, it's gonna be nice and thick. I'm gonna go ahead and start some of this cornbread. Don't forget to look at these i-cards I got up above. Let you know, you guys know I make that cornbread too. So, this is it. I'm putting the top on. Let's set the timer and let's get it to cooking. Okay, so look, lid on, let's power up. I'm gonna put this one on high, right? So we're gonna go high. You can do this for two to three hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna go two and a half hours. Then I will check it. We're not gonna lift the lid, cause you know if you lifting the lid, that means if you looking, you ain't cooking, especially with a crock pot. So we got that up there. Now we wanna go ahead and hit the start. Okay, so timer went off. Actually it's been on warm for about 30 minutes, you know what I mean? Cause I was doing something else. So now let's just go ahead and look at it. There you guys go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, give it a stir. Oh yeah, this right here. Hey, I'm telling you guys, you gotta trust the turkey. Hey, with that seasoning, this is it right here. So, I'm liking this. I'm gonna mash one of these beans just to see where we at. Oh yeah, beans are nice and soft. Hey, this is perfect. Now, let me go ahead. Get me a little ladle. Got myself, you know, one of these uh, bowls right here. Let's go ahead and just put some of this in here like this. Maybe one more. Just like you see right there. Look at that. And then check this out right here. Look, see these right here? all different color bowls. This right here, when you see these out, you know it's fall and winter, folks. Got this, what we're gonna do is add a little cheese to it. But just go ahead and put a little bit on the top like you see right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and just add a, just a, just a dab or two, you know sour cream and then of course you got to have some green some green onions right so I want you guys to tell me what you think Good. Just put a little bit more on this side you know so look at that right there that right there is nice all I'm waiting for is my cornbread to come out of you know I made them into mu muffins I'm waiting for those to come out but other than that I want you guys to let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below so let's go ahead and get it get some all right, so let me get a little bit of this sour cream, get some of these beans, just get the whole money, right? So, you guys can see it. 
Here we go. Man. I'm going to be honest with you. For those of you guys that have like made things with turkey before, like ground turkey, and you guys say that, it, hey, it was, it was like a little bland or didn't quite taste like the beef, I want you guys to make this, use this seasoning, and let me know what you guys think. Just get back with me. I got to try it one more time just to let you know. You can look at it on my face. This right here is good. I would hit y'all with a <laughs> with a third bite, but I ain't going to do that. Because I'm going to go ahead and just save the rest, try to like refrain from eating it. I probably got about five or six more minutes left before these muffins come out. Mmm. This right here is fire. You looking for a recipe, something to keep you warm, this is it right here. All right, let me get a napkin, clean my mouth up, and let's wrap this video up. You know I like to use that word, fire. Hey, hands down, this is it. We're going to start introducing that ground turkey. There's a lot of, you know, options out there. We could use ground chicken, ground turkey, and of course we can use ground beef. Remember, if you guys use ground beef, you're going to have to drain that fat and then put it back, you know, get everything ready like that, all right? Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I can feel the heat. I smell them muffins. You know what I mean? I got this aroma right underneath my nose. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here.